Yeah, I mean, I, from what I hear, I think orangutans are a little bit tend to be more loners, right? Than compared to like chimpanzees or, or gorillas that they live more of in a in a in a family. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. They are um, amazing, um, self-contained yeah. uh, acrobats, uh, physicists. They have to understand the physics of the forest to be able to take their large weight. Yeah. The male orangutans. Sure. Um, they're big. A wild male can be 100 kilograms. Wow. And they're up, you know, perched on the top of these trees, hundreds of feet above the ground, looking for the fruit. Yeah. And, you know, if they don't know how to balance themselves... Yeah, understand the tensile strength of branches, they're not going to be around much right. longer. Right. So they, they have to do that. And they're also um, eco-engineers, Alex. So what they do is they perform a vital service in, in the forest of Borneo and Sumatra by clearing out the dead wood, the wood that would collapse maybe. And, uh, oh, wow. and so when they come across dead wood in the trees, they break it off mm -hmm. as, as protection in the future for them. Yeah. But also, it's a consequence of allowing light to penetrate the forest floor, where the seeds that they have been spreading yeah. uh, will have a chance to take root. Wow. So they are essentially the gardeners of the forest performing this kind of eco-engineering service amazing. for us. Wow. So we don't appreciate that, but it's, I think it's important to like mention it. Absolutely. Because um, you know, we, we tend to think that we are you know, the engineers of the world and, you know, we can, we can take a rocket to, you know, the moon or to sure. Mars, but, you know, taking care of, of planet earth yeah. to me is probably more important, you know, for the long-term survival of, for our species. And of course, orangutans, so we owe a debt of gratitude to orangutans. I agree.